Okay, here we are, another update of the flight sim. Um, got the overhead panel on. Yes, she is. We'll fire it up. We're on ground power at the moment. There we are, ground power. Um, haven't started APU up yet. Um, I just got done putting in the uh, autopilot status enunciator from Sismo Solutions. Had to marry it up with the master card of open cockpits to get it to work kind of properly. Um, this the MIP will just come back a bit and uh, just show you the overhead. That's the latest, latest project that's been happening. Um, it's not looking too bad. Got the enunciators all working, They're looking pretty good. And um, so, like for instance, we go and put on the window heat. They all work. Do an overheat test. They all work. To cancel, you've got to switch them off and on again. Which is typical in the 737. Um, probe heats on, off. Um, I've got the duct pressure gauge working and the APU uh, exhaust gas temperature gauge working but they're not on at the moment because I haven't fired up the APU yet but anyway we'll just come back and uh, have a look at the overall setup I hope the light's good enough for this camera it's uh, only on the um, on the Galaxy S2 Android phone so um, yeah long way to go yet um, gonna put an aft overhead panel on eventually this is the the guts, <laughs> the guts of the thing. Uh, open cockpits, the outputs card, uh, servos card from open cockpits. Well, I've got um, four BU086Xs from uh, Leo Bodnar cards driving all the switches. There's the uh, expansion card and master card in action. Um, this cable here, this ribbon cable here is running um, Running the uh, ASA on the on the um, in the glare shield. Um, yeah, it's all it's all happening, mate. So there we go. That's the top of the glare shield. There's a cover to go over everything. I haven't made a cover for the overhead yet, but that'll all happen eventually. All these things take time. Uh, these gear status enunciators will be. I'll be using um, brighter LEDs for that, and I'll probably put them down about here somewhere. Uh, that's the touch screen with the um, flight management computer, lower ICAS and standby instruments, flaps gauge and brake pressure gauge. And just a basic pedestal with a couple of radios and the um, throttle quadrant. So we'll come back here and uh, we'll fire up the APU. To do that we need to put on fuel and fire them up. So you should see this gauge start to rise once the um, APU jet motor in the tail end of the 737 starts to fire up, which there she goes. And um, still on ground power, if I go to APU, there's nothing there just yet. And once she fires up, comes back and the generators come online, you'll see, there we go, she's online. So we'll switch these buses on here. And then we can put on, open up the isolation valve for the pneumatics, APU bleed, up goes the duct pressure gauge. Put on the packs left and right, and down they go again because we're running air through the uh, aircraft, air conditioning packs, etc. Um, the bleeds will go on once the engines are fired up. And uh, so far, so good. So basically, that's it as yet. I was a little bit pressed for time, so uh, I'll close this off in a minute. And, but no, she's looking pretty good. Uh, Shut the packs back off. Get the duct pressure will go back up again. 
turn off the AP bleed and it will come back down again. Just like that. Shut off the APU. And just zoom back a bit. So far that's it. Uh, it's a long way to go yet. Got plenty more things to build and mess around with. So uh, that's basically 737 overhead. Full scale, full replica. Um, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching.